Yes, sir. If we are to help you, what are your strengths yeah. that we should push? Okay, well, first of all, I mean, I, I think the question, and one I hear more often than any other is, hey, you know, we like you, you're great, you've done this, but you're so controversial. And, and you know, you, you uh, how can we possibly win? How can we, how can we hope that you can overcome the things they're going to say about you? And they're going to say a lot of things about me. There's only two ways about that. I have been around a while. I am a controversial candidate. I mean, I'm a controversial guy. It is true. The things I say, a lot of people get upset about sometimes. But here's the deal. Explain, show them this. Anybody that asks, I mean, I, I am presently, and as I say, four polls now show me tied with Hickenlooper. Now, again, I'm not telling you it's because I'm so wonderful, but it is, you know, I am far ahead of the other candidates. Well, people know me, and I'm still there, if you know what I mean. I mean, most people in Colorado absolutely know who Tom Tancredo is. They have some impression, some good, some bad, it doesn't matter, but my name recognition is, is about 79%. Um, I don't think there's many other people, really, that, that can claim that. A lot of people would have to spend an enormous amount of money to get there. That's one thing we have, name recognition. I have certainly been around. My experiences, well, you know, where does it start? State legislature, teacher. You know, that's, that's something people don't understand. I frankly had an issue that I was much more, much more passionate about than anything else, even before immigration, that it was education. I, I taught in the Jefferson County Public Schools. My wife taught 27 years. I ran the, the regional office for the U.S. Department of Education for Reagan and Bush. It was a major sort of, of executive. I had 222 people employed there. I have to always be careful because some of you have a tendency to say working there. <laughs> some of them were working there. <laughs> 222 were employed there. Uh, and, and, and it, it took me four years, but we did actually reduce it along with, the, you know, it wasn't my, you know, I wasn't unilaterally able to do it, but we got it down to about 60 people. And I used to always give a speech and say, hey, if you could get rid of 80% of your staff and nobody knows it, what does that tell you about the value of whatever the heck you're doing, right? And if it's a zero in the U.S. Department of Education, it, no one would know the difference. Absolutely no one. So, um, but anyway. I ran the Independence Institute for uh, for five years. I ran for Congress in 1998. Was elected five times. Um, yes, I did run for the uh, in, in the 2007 Republican primary. And yes, it was for a reason. It was immigration. I, I was never going to be president. I was well. I was not operating under any illusion about it. But it was the place I had to go to do the thing I wanted to do, and that was to force those other guys to talk about this issue called border security. Right? That was it. So I did it. I've had a wide range of experiences. I have, um, I think I have the ability to raise more money than a lot of the other candidates because, of, in fact, I have a pretty big base of support out there, and much broader than, than Colorado. I mean, it's, you know, it's all over the country, and, and, and I thank God for it, but we've really been lucky for that. So I, I think I bring some advantages to the table, and um, I think that people recognize that, yes, I. They may not agree with everything I say, but they know when I tell you what I believe and what I'm going to do, and what I think, I mean, those things are for real. <laughs> I'm not going to, not going to change that. Yes, sir. 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 Yes